Choco rainforests are renowned for their outstanding richness and exuberance of life, both biological and human. These forests, which extend from southern Panama to northwest Ecuador, house a stunning diversity of flora and fauna. Many of these species are endemic, meaning that they are found nowhere else on Earth and that they are completely reliant upon Choco forest for their survival. For example, 60 of the over 500 species of bird recorded from the Choco are endemics, the highest number for any habitat type in the Americas. This exceptional diversity and endemism does not occur in a vacuum. The Choco is also home to tens of thousands of inhabitants with a rich cultural heritage, many of whom live in isolated communities lacking basic services and eke out a living by exploiting natural resources, including slash and burn agriculture, hunting, and timber extraction. As a result, much of the Choco has been deforested. In Ecuador, for example, over 96% of original Choco rainforest has already been lost. The small fraction that remains is not well protected and is being cut at a rate of 4% per year. For these reasons, the Choco is an internationally recognized global conservation priority and is included as one of 17 hotspots for conservation around the world. Since 2001, the Center for Tropical Research at UCLA has been implementing a multifaceted conservation and research program in the Machu Chindul Reserve, northwestern Ecuador. The foundation of our work is top-level scientific research with conservation implications. We are conducting detailed studies of the long wattled umbrella bird, the banded ground cuckoo, and the brown wood rail. Each of these species is in danger of extinction, endemic to the Choco, and was virtually unknown prior to our groundbreaking research. In addition to finding the first nest recorded by science for each of these species, we have quantified their basic ecology and conservation requirements for the first time. Complementing these studies of individual species is our research on broader ecological and evolutionary processes. For example, we are quantifying diversity of birds, amphibians, reptiles, and insects in relation to habitat quality, as well as documenting pollination biology, seed dispersal, forest regeneration, and fruit production. We share our findings through publications in international scientific journals, presentations at international scientific conferences, and, on a more local level, via formal and informal publications, presentations, and workshops. We are fully aware that scientific research alone is not enough to achieve lasting conservation, and that it is the local residents who will ultimately decide the fate of the forests around them. We believe that increased knowledge and appreciation of these forests will allow local residents to make informed and wise choices for the future. For this reason, we have initiated a multifaceted training, outreach, and education program in the Choco. At the local level, we employ residents as full-time biological researchers, providing them with important field and computer skills while establishing a direct economic incentive for conservation. These men are locally elected leaders and also serve as environmental ambassadors by giving regular presentations and hands-on workshops that are exceptionally effective at promoting conservation. In recognition of this success, Jorge Olivo was recently awarded the Disney Wildlife Conservation Fund's Local Conservation Hero Award, a prestigious prize that is awarded to a single person in South America each year. We are also implementing an education project in which teachers from 15 local schools attend a weekend-long workshop in which they are prepared to teach an environmental theme to their communities. We also provide a parallel education program to adults and are playing a key role in the development of an environmental network. At the national level, we are working closely with Ecuadorian universities, non-governmental organizations, and the Ministry of the Environment to build in-country conservation and research capacity. Our efforts have laid the foundation for future projects such as land purchase, ecotourism, and sustainable agricultural practices. The situation in the Ecuadorian Chocó today is urgent. Deforestation continues at an unacceptably high rate. The fate of a tremendous wealth of species hangs in the balance, and we are literally in a race against time. 
But there is good reason to believe that this is a race that we can win. There's a sincere local interest in developing alternatives to deforestation, and our research, education, and training programs are helping to move these forward. There remains much work to do, but we are optimistic for the future of Choco rainforests, of their flora and fauna, and of their human inhabitants.